Okay, folks, we've started that weird effect that the aircraft has on the side and the wings. On the camera, it looks really dark brown, but I can assure you uh, the colour I'm using is an earth colour, but it's more green, greeny brown. Um, but how I achieve this effect is simply loading up your brush and putting some on. And then quick, it's light dry brushing. But you want to do it quickly and create the lines within the uh, pattern. That's how I'm creating that pattern that's on the side of the aircraft. that's pretty much it I don't know why it's at an angle but it seems to be an, at an angle on the aircraft it's just straight down on the fuselage but so we're going to go ahead and just keep rubbing this in so there you are folks there's one wing down and that's how pretty much I'm going to do it let this dry it's going to take a few days to dry because it's oils we can give it a clear coat to seal it in and then the underside can be done in the blue but um, yeah, our next step is to do the wing, the other wing. Okay folks, previously you saw me uh, do this technique with the uh, oils. I let this dry for about five days and now I sealed it in with Tester's Dell Coat, which is this. This is what I use to seal the uh, paint in. Now that's dry. Our next step is to work on the underside, which is the blue. So we're going to start painting white stripes along these stitch lines, which is the uh, ribs. Of the aircraft which looks something like this once this is dry we can mask it up put a uh, gray over the top of it all and then reveal the tape which will give you white lines and gray and then we can go over with the uh, blue
Okay folks, our next step is to mask off these white lines with masking tape, which looks like this. And it's ready for uh, painting in blue. So next step is to remove the tape. And you're gonna reveal white lines of where the ribs are. And then once we've done that, we can go over with another coat and you wanna blend these white lines which is mimicking the ribs so now we want to blend these white lines in so they're just barely visible this set you want to be super careful because you can easily overdo it and completely screw it not screw it up as such but you can just blend it straight in and then you're going to end up having to mask it off and redo it so build it up as layers until you get until you're happy with the uh, desired effect
Okay, folks, we have gone over lightly, and now I don't know how well you can see this, but there are a slight blend between the ribs. It mimics the uh, stretch of the fabric of going over the ribs. So this is what I'm looking for. Once this is dry, uh, the lower wing, which is this one at the bottom, we have four ribs in, so one, two, three, four. These four sections here have got to be painted in the linen colour, which is the light sandy colour, which is the same as what we did inside the cockpit area fabric. And again, one, two, three, four, four sections square is the uh, linen, which is where the crosses go, which, which is this section here.
So we're going to do some decaling now. We're going to put the crosses on. Um, they're in the water. They've taken them out. I'm going to use Mark Fit Strong. It's what I like to use for Japanese decals and stuff like that. Um, it seems to work really well. Um, once the decals start to relieve themselves from the paper, the solution works both ways. So you don't need to have a gloss coat. You can work this on matte coats as well, which is what I'm doing because this is a matte aircraft. So it's a case of loading up the whole tire area of where the decal's going to go. So it's pretty much cover. This area, there's a couple of dust spots. Let's get rid of these. So, load up the whole area with decal solution. Get your decal, slide it across. Move it into place. Look on roughly where it is. The crosses go, the center spar or strut is where the cross goes straight through the middle. So get it, try and get it central. As long as it sits in the middle, leave it for a second or two. And you can start to take out air bubbles and clean up some of the excess fluid. And you can see it starts to fold and bed in to the detail. Once you're happy with, you've got most of the excess air bubbles out, you just simply just go over the whole tire decal again with Mark Fit Strong. And now you just want to leave the decal as is. It's going to bubble, it may wrinkle a little bit and, and stuff like that. You may want to be tempted to touch it but do not touch it now, just leave it and let it dry and evaporate. And then once it's done, you can go over another coat until you're satisfied of it sunk in. Okay, folks, as you can see, the uh, decals all down, not gone down nicely. Um, as you can see, they've burnished in lovely. Um, so they are all been clear coated as well they are ready to be uh, put onto the aircraft our next step is to work on the fuselage and get that painted and decaled and then it's ready for assembly